I started the free software movement in 1983 by making an announcement on the net asking for people to join in and help in the first project. Now, I wanted to be able to live in a world where we could use computers and be free both to help ourselves and each other. But the world of 1983 was very different from that. It was completely impossible. The first thing you did after you bought a computer was to install an operating system. And all the operating systems for modern computers were proprietary, which means non-free software. They were user-subjugating, user-dividing software. You had to sign a promise not to share with anybody else just to get the binary executables, which is just numbers that nobody can understand. And the source code, which is like mathematics, it's what programmers can understand, was not available at all. If you were an ordinary user, there was nothing you could do to get your hands on the source code. So the first step in becoming a computer user was to betray all of your fellows. And this feels in spirit to me like what criminal gangs do, at least in fiction, with new members. Of, oh, you want to join the gang? Well, now you have to kill somebody so that now you have participated in the evil and you are inseparably bound to us. Well, this didn't involve killing anybody, just betraying people. But it's the same sort of thing, even if not as bad. It's a, it's start off by joining in the evil. And there was no alternative if you wanted to use a computer, because there was, there was no way, you can't run a computer without an operating system, and all the operating systems required this. So the first project had to be develop another operating system which people could use in freedom. And being an operating system developer, that was my work, I was the man for the job. I had at least a chance of carrying out such a project successfully. So I decided to develop a free software operating system, and I chose the name GNU, which I chose because it's a joke. And that's, that's our tradition. While you're doing work, even if it's serious, might as well fill it with jokes to amuse yourself and each other and everyone else. So I posted an announcement asking people to join in developing the GNU operating system. That was in September 1983, so it was 21 years ago. I actually started the project on January 5th, 1984. What does GNU stand for? The name GNU is a recursive acronym. It stands for GNU's Not Unix. So if somebody asks you, what's GNU? Now you can respond, GNU's Not Unix. And the funniest part is, it sounds like you're obnoxiously telling the person what it isn't, what GNU isn't, instead of telling him what it is. But in fact, you are telling him exactly what GNU is.